Hello, great people. I'm Chef Chris Strong, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn raw pork belly into some delicious smoky bacon using the Alta Sham Smoker. I came across this recipe whenever I decided I wanted to try something difficult and found out it's really not that hard at all. So let's go down this adventure together. The journey started whenever I went to Restaurant Depot just a week ago to pick out some delicious pork bellies. Well, I checked out a Restaurant Depot with 27 pounds of pork belly, and that should yield me about 220 slices of bacon, so that should last at least a week. To make the brine, first grab yourself a Cambro food pan and then fill it with two cups of distilled water, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of fresh ground black pepper, four tablespoons of kosher salt, and pink curing salt measured according to the Amazing Ribs calculator. For our recipe, it's going to take about three days to finish brining in the Cambro food pan. 24 hours before we begin the smoking process, we're going to soak a combination of apple and maple chips provided by AltoSham. First, you'll place the soaked wood chips into the chip container. Then, you'll place the chips over the smoking element. Slide in the pork bellies, insert a probe into the thickest portion of the meat, and just press play. We have the AltoSham oven set to preheat and smoke at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally, you'd have to pull it out of the oven at this point if you were cooking at home, but not with AltoSham. Since the probe hit 150, the oven temp is gonna reduce to 150 and hold it there even overnight if you needed to. But we're hungry now, so let's get some bacon. Thank you for joining me today in the Houston Test Kitchen. We had a lot of fun, we made a lot of bacon. If you have any questions, don't call me. But please do call me.